Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's insane. Someone went for the revive and I'm just mowing them down, man. This game mode is fun. Hey, guys. Check it out. We are playing the brand new game mode in Battlefield 5 called Fortress. And it's just got men all squashed together in the same spot. Now, I've got the classic... Here we go. The classic Yonkers 88. Which has the 16 times 50 kilo carpet bombs, right? Which I just dropped. But also 4 times 500 kilos. And I'm expecting to find clusters of enemies. All together. And it should be sick. The problem is... Uh, I actually think this would be much better being on the defending... The attacking team. Not the defending team. I'm on the defending team right now with the Yonkers. But if I was on the attacking team, then they're really... You know, these men are really clustered. Let's help out our guys on the ground here with that tank. Two 500 kilo bombs on the tank. He's down. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Let's turn around. See if we can find some clusters here. I've got a, a fighter plane on my six, it sounds like. Oh, uh, I, I didn't align those bombs very well. Now, you might notice I'm playing in 720p. You must be wondering, Nick... Where the hell is my 1440p option? I'm watching you on my mobile right now. <laughs> Where is it? Well, if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you'll know that my PC's kind of broke right now. So, the only way for me to play this game with my, you know, my temporary replacement graphics card here. Uh, oops, I'm reloading my bombs. Is a 1060. And it cannot play Battlefield 5. I don't care what the minimum requirements say. You cannot play Battlefield 5 on a freaking 1060 at 60 FPS. It is unplayable. Once again, I've dropped the wrong bombs. What am I doing? Because you cannot play. It was actually dropping down to 16 FPS on this new breakthrough mode. The game is so un... <laughs> the game just does not feel ready. Oh, look at that. Six kills in one strafe. This is just absolute slaughter. I've got 13 kills so far. But I don't think we can run a huge score. Because there's not enough tickets to run a huge score. There's only 200 tickets to begin with. I have no idea where I just dropped those bombs. No one has shot at me yet. <laughs> look at my cool skin, by the way. Oh, yeah, we're running on low graphics as well. So what I was saying before, yeah, it's just ridiculous. You can't even run on low graphics and you get 16 FPS on the new game mode at 1440p with a 1060. What? That might sound like uh, gibberish to some of you. So I feel bad for console gamers. A lot of people were saying to my hackers video that I should be playing console as a solution. And that makes me sad because I feel sorry for you guys. You're playing on 60 frames a second. You are literally a third of the man that you could be if you played at 140 frames. You aim better. Everything is better. The enjoyment is better. One kill. Man, I need to I need to figure out where to drop these because I'm not doing well here. 15 kills and zero deaths. I'm annoyed that I've got a broken wing and I can't fix it because no one's hurt me yet. <laughs> Can you imagine this situation I'm in? Why is no one shooting at me? Okay, that sounds like someone's about to shoot at me. That's a Spitfire. Where are they? Where are they? Spitfire, get out of here, dude. All right, we'll jump. You think I can't switch seats, homie? <laughs> wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Now I can fix my wing. Brilliant. Thanks for the assist. All right, we're ready to drop. We've got 16 bombs ready to drop. We're lining it up. All right, where are we going to do it? Let's first be in first person mode and zoom. Oh, they're all there. Look at that. Oh, yes. No, I didn't align it. I didn't align it. No. I saw someone. <clears throat> you may have noticed if you follow me on Twitter. I saw someone. Get like a 20-man feed. It was insane. The potential in this game mode is insane to run huge scores. Dice is going to definitely change that for sure. They don't want people running around in bombers dominating. Watch this. Oh, no. I didn't have my uh, carpet bombing ready. Let's turn around ASAP. The Blenheim could be really good on this. Because it's got that spotting camera. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, just a two-man. I'm not. I'm not finding the clusters for some reason. I thought they were. I thought they would all be squashed against that wall. Maybe my bombs just don't have that much blast radius. I'm trying to figure this out. The game's almost over. <laughs> I've only got 24 kills and zero deaths. The game's almost over. I haven't topped the leaderboard. There's just not enough tickets to run it huge. Which I am a whore. 
people wanted to do, right? That was nice, and I passed a whole bunch as they were running up. All right, there you have it, 28 and zero. It's ambitious, isn't it, to try and push for too much with a 200 ticket count? And I wasn't finding the clusters. I reckon, as the attacking team, you can crush the enemy. Let's try this. All right, guys, let's see what we can do with the Blenheim Mininchkosh. <laughs> no, the Blenheim Explosive Bullets. Let's see if we can destroy them with that. And we've also got eight 40 pound bombs to drop as we exit our strafing run. Now, I remember as the uh, defending team that you're just basically all along this wall. Okay, that is not easy. No, I am way off target. But what else could you have chosen? Ah, oh, the Mosquito would have been better than the Blenheim. I've got some sort of uh, radar package because I'm getting enemy spots. Oh, no, I was off target. Still got a double kill. Okay, I, re I reckon uh, you can really aim this to do well. You can, like, really line it up and get a lot of kills here. Because the defending team are way more compact than the attacking team. Just look at that, look. Couldn't see them with that smoke. All right, now we, we do want to climb and get some altitude before we go in. All right, let's do this. Let's start diving. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Check it out. And then the bombs. Okay, that was a nice strafe. The problem is I now have to turn all the way around. There's only one resupply point and it's over there. Like, now I've got to go all the way back there to get my bombs back. <laughs> Fair enough. But you can get a lot in one strafe. It's already... I've got 14 and 0 as my score. However... Oh, do I want to start a fight with this guy? I don't know. I can't finish the job. Let's ignore him and go for the kills. Now, where's my spot? Who spotted it last time? Can't he do it again? I don't see anyone. Oh, there is anti-air in this map. I didn't know. That's fine, we can get him. 14 and 0, and it's only 50 tickets left. You really don't get a chance to run it high. <laughs> I guess it's fair enough, but I'm just sharing with you guys what I'm finding here. I've even got a passenger. That's quite cool. Oh, here we go, here we go. It's a... M oh, just the double kill. Alright, let's do it, let's line it up. My gunner wants some action. Right, I killed him. <laughs> I nailed him with the explosive bullets. They're not as clustered as before because our team have actually managed to take a flag, which is rare. Ah, uh, just a triple. Yeah, I expected huge things from playing this game mode, but I guess the tickets run down so quick that you really are capped in what you're able to do. But if you ever want... Look how I'm not being challenged ever in the air. Except for one anti-air gun. If you ever were struggling to rank up your planes, this is the way to do it, guys. You need to be playing on this fortress game mode. Because I am just shooting fish in barrels here with no challenge. Where was it? Where's the anti-air gun? I have no idea, but he has got no... <laughs> the anti-air gun's got no chance of stopping me. I'm just completely out of his line of sight whenever I want to be. Dice, you need to give that anti-air gun some line of sight, maybe. Just throwing it out there. Just have no idea. There it is. There it is. Oh, I can't do it. I can't get him. I have to pull up. Crap. Crap. The one time I get challenged by the Yonkers is the one time I'm dead. Like, almost dead. <laughs> nice one, dude. <laughs> I killed myself there. Oh, man. And it's the end of the game. 25 and 1, guys. Top of the leaderboard. So easy to be top of the leaderboard with a plane on this map. That's hilarious. This game mode. Rank up your planes now, guys. If you ever wanted to, now's the time. But ultimately, it's uninspiring, isn't it? Like, where am I using... I just feel like I'm doing nothing. I just feel like uh, I haven't had to use skill to do what I've just done. I'm just a robot playing. I don't know. It's not that fun. Just killing mercilessly. Completely obliterating the enemy. It's not that fun, is it? I like to have a challenge where you have to use skill to achieve 
some, you know, amazing scores, but this just feels too easy. What do you guys think? All right, guys, I've just got to get my uh, defending scores here, and I've got an MMG. This should be hilarious. Look at this, de look at this defense. We're such an advantage. Look at this man. <laughs> this is insane. How cool is this? Defending is the most fun. It's so satisfying on this fortress game mode. Found a kill somehow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's insane. Someone went for the revive and I'm just mowing them down, man. This game mode is fun. Don't be in a plane. This is way more fun, guys. Defending is the way to have fun. Now, someone nailed me. I'm on an 11 kill streak. <laughs> I can't wait to get back in there. Someone revive me. Uh, okay. Where's a good position? That position I was in before was good. Let's real quick get some defenses here because I feel like we're all exposed. We need the uh, attackers to be more confused about where we are for me to be a as successful. That guy who's prone is blocking me from making this cover. This guy just on there. I see you, buddy. You really have to build fortifications in this map and none of the team are doing it. Oh, this is so satisfying. I like this MMG. No way, it was a trade kill. Was it a trade kill? Just look at these kills. I can barely see them. And I'm mowing them down with MMGs. It's so fun. Wow, how did I get behind enemy lines? Or right in front of the enemy lines, I should say. I'm right in front of them, but they don't know. They don't miss. Oh, he does. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> nice spot. Nice spot, dude. Oh, I'm nailing them here. This is a great way to push. Oh, I like this spot. Oh, now I can't see. Let's see if I can find another nice spot. This is a good one. Yes. No, I couldn't aim at him. <laughs> <laughs> he was the better player. Man, I'm doing so well. I've got 12 kills, zero deaths. This is more fun than flying a plane and not really thinking. I'll be honest. I, I feel like a traitor to my channel by saying that. <laughs> it's just, it is just more fun on this game mode. The problem, the only reason I can say that is because DICE did such a bad job with planes in Battlefield 5. And that is the only reason. It should be way more fun than it is right now on planes. And we can all agree on that, all of us pilots who watch this channel. Look at this, I'm dominating again. I just spawned on a great one, a great friendly, but I got too arrogant. Anyway, I'll cut the video here. What do you guys think of this game mode? Man, this is awesome. I love this game mode. This is revitalized Battlefield 5 for me. I am right behind enemy lines. This guy's looking for me. <laughs> I'm behind every lines. I'm running amok. 
Is that the right word? Oh, nailed! No! <laughs> Oh, I don't know who I am. Who is this? What? Who am I? I don't have this skill. 720p for the win? Oh! No. 